more time there. Scales your combos down more, and then of course you got to play Iron Man. And so Zero got opened up. Squeezing in the extra drill claws. More damage. Nice and easy. Don't have to do anything crazy about Zero there. Oh, came in pressing buttons, got caught by the dive kick. Goes to take out the anchor Virgil. Pops the factor. That'll do it. Oh, or not, except Virgil. Homebreaker works in a lot of situations, but that wasn't one good block from PR Rock. He plays Virgil too, he knows how that works. Too high off the ground for Hammer to be really effective from up there. He actually could have hit him out of the air, which actually I think he did with the stand jab. One more. All right, all right. PR Rock starting things off. Very quick match. Zero's got to try and put in a little bit more work this time. Okay, there he goes. Knocks him down the corner, gets his OTG. Zero may cry, he's going to get a couple more of those, except he missed his assist and the OTG. He's playing it really careful, trying to go for some full screen control if the lightning cancels. Okay, there was Doom. It's just a little bit too slow to get the confirm from him. He was really close, opened up Zero anyways. Goes, knocks him down. Virgil comes out, lands a hand. Super, just one should be enough right now. Oh man, Dante came pressing buttons again. Probably trying to hammer, except it has six non invincible frames in startup now. <laughs> Virgil came and pressing buttons too. It's a little more blocking is the answer here. And then Virgil flipped out. I think he crossed himself up. Anti air slash confirms. Dead Dante. Just getting right back into it. <laughs> Wants to get it over with, I think. Ooh, missed the confirm. Got another one opened about low. Optimal combo. Virgil spike him down. Finish him for no meter. Hmm. Whatever works. Okay, this time Dante blocked. All right, there we go. Went for Helmbreaker. Easy confirm, though. Not going to get too much damage from that. Dropped it anyways. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, that was nice. Snap back for the Virgil again. Virgil came in, probably tried to Helmbreaker. Picked up. Super. Let's see if Dante, what he's going to try now. Okay, double jumps out. Hammer's too high off the ground again. Pierrot gets up, handshake. That one was over in a hurry. All right, see who we got on deck here. Chris G in the onion shaking his head. Hey, this should be a good one. We got K Brad versus Kazanoko. So I'm thinking this is probably the match to get out of this pool in losers. K Brad plays a pretty cool team. Devil May Cry. It's got a really nice Trish. Can do some really nice combos with Dante too. We saw him land in some shot loops at Season's Beatings, I believe it was. Kazanoko has got a really sharp looking uh, team. Yipes. Spencer, Virgil, Hawkeye. He's got his optimized combos, getting as many up grapples in as he can, usually three or four a combo. He's definitely not really known as a Marvel player, but those top level Japanese guys, they got the fighting game sense you need to make it work. Especially, I think it's the solid sense of timing in all situations is a big deal, especially in a game like this where a frame or two either way can make the difference between life or death. Checks. Got the Tim Hortons coffee on the stream station there. I like it. It's the greatest coffee in the world. It's like two bucks for a bucket of it. We got some Timbits here too. Actually looking to have some of those soon. All right, here we go. 
Trish Point, Dante, Virgil, 